Hi all, James here. I'm literally sitting here in my studio. Like I can't film. I'm sorry for everything that is going on and everything that I've put you through. He said some things and it literally made me want to vomit. James Charles has been cancelled. I doubt I really need to summarise this situation, but just in case you somehow don't know what's going on, beauty YouTuber Taddy Westbrook dropped, at the time, the most well-formulated and graceful exposed video on James that I had ever seen, even rivalling the likes of a content cop in my opinion. Taddy starts off the video talking about all the different ways in which she helped Charles, including how her and her husband assisted to increase his YouTube revenue from $90 a video to $2,500 a video, as well as her husband helping him to secure contracts and deals with brands. She also promoted his special discount code for the Morphe store at every opportunity, as well as promoting his products. But then following this, Tatty goes full sicko mode and drops some mad roasts on James Charles, including how he became overall much more toxic as of recent, shedding light on his disgusting behaviour at her birthday that I don't really want to repeat here, and a situation involving a betrayal of her business. And then comes probably the most shocking and disgusting thing of all. Tatty exposes James Charles for his predatory behaviour, affirming a lot of allegations surrounding Charles using his money and celebrity status to manipulate straight men sexually in his favour multiple times. A waiter that James was in contact with came forward with his story, as well as a guy named Gage who both confirmed Tatty's report. Pretty messed up stuff. At least, that's what we all thought. James Charles decided that the allegations against him had gone too far, and consequently, he created a response video that debunked almost every single claim made against him by Tatty. The tides had turned, Tatty was losing subs, the hate train had switched tracks, and James's video had a much more healthy like to dislike ratio than his absolutely terrible apology. So, all was coming right for Charles. But in his video, he downright exposed Jeffree Star for all of the threatening text messages sent between Star and himself. Jeffrey responded in a video, not defending his actions at all, quite surprisingly, but saying that he wants to take a break from YouTube drama and spilling all of the piping hot tea. However, in the meantime, another aspect of all of this drama was unfolding on Twitter. People started coming forward with stories about James Charles' past, including his high school classmates. There's a lot to cover here, so I'm going to do my best to summarise it as clear and concise as I can. Now, I'm not 100% sure of the timeline, but I know that this was the first tweet that gained a lot of traction. A young lady by the name of Asa Palana quoted a tweet by PopBuzz declaring, throwback to when James Charles catfished the entire soccer team in high school pretending to be a girl so that he could get d pics. So glad to know he's still predatory. Now, this is quite the allegation. About a week later, the same account that posted this gem and got this meme-worthy response from James retweeted Asa Palana's tweet, and as a result of this, Asa made a follow-up set of tweets. There's a lot of people asking me for tea on James Charles, but I don't really have any. I went to high school with James Charles. I don't know him well, but he was in one of my classes and he's always been a bully and a predator. This was something that my whole school knew about, among other things he did, such as bullying other students with his Instagram account right when it started to get a big following. I don't want to expose him because I don't have enough information to do so, but everybody I know has been trying to speak up for years now, and it's only now that a tweet went viral that you're all listening. I hope that people finally do start to listen and take what he's doing seriously. Now, I had to verify that she was indeed from the same school as James Charles, so I had to do some digging. From here on, private information will be blurred out. Even though these accounts are public, I'm not sure if these people would appreciate having their information spread across YouTube. We know that James Charles went to Bethlehem Central High School, but searching for Asa's name with reference to the high school didn't bring up any results, so I had to go digging. Asa Palana has an Instagram, and from there I was able to scroll down and I found some photos with her high school friends tagged. I searched up some of her friends' names, specifically this one, who had apparently moved on to become a model in Italy. Nice. 
I searched her up and found this webpage archive from BCHS with her name in it, saying that she was an exchange student. Well, that clears up the Italy thing. I also did the same with a few other people tagged and they all linked back to Bethlehem Central. So at this point there was no doubt in my mind that she went to the same school as Charles. But my only question is, if everyone in her school knew about it, why did no one else speak up about the allegations? The only other evidence is this one from a Facebook post of which I've also verified the information for. But in essence this still doesn't really prove anything. I doubted that Asa Palana would have put out a fake story trying to gain clout weeks before any severe allegations came forward. The story only took off after the retweet, so she gets some extra credit for that. And she did go to his school at the same time as him, so there is a level of credibility to her story. However, I cannot say definitively whether she is telling the truth in this instance since she hasn't responded to my DM or come up with any extra proof concerning James Charles. So for now, I'll have to label this as a plausible allegation, but not proven in any sense and doubtful to ever be proven at all. The next allegation, one that James actually mentioned in his video, was made by this Twitter account, Teenager Lilac. The tweet included a set of images explaining in detail a rather severe allegation that James Charles inappropriately touched a young boy in the urinals. Now that is despicable if true, but then this person completely messes up by sharing obviously fake DMs supposedly from James telling her to take down the post immediately. Upon close inspection we can see that this is a screenshot from an iPhone, and if so, why is the font up here so wrong? Completely fake DMs, not to mention that James Charles definitely wouldn't use an emoji like that in a formal complaint. And sure enough, the poster made a reply saying that the DMs were fake, but that the story was real. Yeah, I don't think this story is legitimate. In fact, this individual admitted afterwards that it was all just a social experiment. I also found out following this story that this person has an entire Instagram account made about her, talking about all the shady things she's done in the past, so I declare this allegation completely false. This next allegation by an account named By Sister is probably the most outlandish one I've ever seen. It's said that James Charles was not only predatory towards males, but to females as well. Which seems a bit far-fetched given James Charles' apparent attraction to straight males. It showed these DMs and even showed some videos of the DMs to prove that they were real. And people believed it! Like people legitimately thought this was real. With all these emojis and outlandish statements, it was insane. But then, I had to look at the DMs a bit closer, and I immediately saw something that was a bit off. So I brought it into my image editing program, and sure enough, there were some major issues. If you line up both of the images on top of each other, you can immediately see a discrepancy in the position of the screenshot. If you compare the images, one is several pixels to the right of the other. This shouldn't happen if the images are the same resolution, which they are. You can also compare the size of the profile pictures and you can see clearly that one picture of James Charles is clearly bigger than the other. I decided to record a quick video showing my findings and I uploaded it as a reply to the thread. I assume the account that made the thread was asleep because my video was left unresponded to for many hours and in that time it amassed over 1,400 likes, which would have surpassed the likes in the original post if it had been up for longer. Unfortunately, the account got deactivated. Funny that, <laughs> but later they apparently came back for a few minutes to just tell me this. Oh, you're so wrong. My account got reported, but I didn't fake it, so... LMAO! Which was untrue. Accounts don't disappear after they've been reported. If it had, it would have shown that the account was suspended, which it didn't. I responded asking them to address their discrepancies, to which they responded saying that they didn't fake it, it's all real, and they'll do five more screen recordings today to prove it. But they never got that far, because they deactivated their account after that. But not before I was able to see these amazing tweets on their timeline. Apparently my DMs are fake, bitch, what? I literally don't know how to edit, so okay, John Swan. What a situation. I think this serves as another successful debunking. Now I'm all for people being held accountable for their wrongdoings, but you shouldn't fake a story just because you want to add fuel to the fire. That's not okay, and it can cause substantial damage to people's reputation. Now, I don't think that Charles is completely blameless as well. After all, he was listed on Tinder as a female to bring in straight dudes. That's kind of messed up. But you shouldn't make it look worse than what it is. 
It's important to note that doctoring information like this is libel, the written form of defamation, as they are asserting things about James Charles that are just not true in the slightest. People have also been given jail time for preparing false documents with the intent to produce it in a judicial proceeding with fraudulent or deceitful purpose. All in all, not very cool. So keep on the factual side of the argument. Or just don't say anything at all. Unlike those commentators who sprung on the story and had to rewrite or delete their videos. Don't be like YouTubers, basically. Anyhow, that's it for me today. But I would like to make a few announcements. The John Swan Discord is now open. I've spent a long time with my head admin to get it looking perfect, and I think we've done a really solid job, so go forth and populate. I also recently set up a Patreon that have already got some people donating to it, which is very nice of them. Uh, so I'd like to mention my two $5 Patreons, Nemo Man and Tozia, and my $10 Patreon, The Face of Team Rocket. Thank you all very much for your contributions, it really means a lot. And if you guys want to support me, the link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.